What's up you guys, Rich here, yes, bringing you yet another video on living here in Mexico. And in this video guys, we're gonna be going checking out a new listing that's just come into the office in West Ajijic. It's a beautiful little two bedroom, two bathroom, one level. It's a home in a condominium, 10 minutes drive from the center of Ajijic. Uh, so Los Sabinos, great little gated community, fantastic clubhouse. Stay tuned guys, video is on its way. Uh, this house is very close to the organic market every Tuesday. So if you're into your organic food, guys, you can walk down there, it takes about 10 minutes. <music> Listing price is 282,000 US dollars. So there's plenty of space for two cars. As we come into the property, you can see it's all kind of open plan. It has a big Bovetta ceiling, which covers um, the sitting area and the living room area with a, with a nice fireplace. Kitchen is a good size, nice nice dark granite. Um, this house comes unfurnished, but all the appliances are included. So you can see it's ample space to put your sofa in front of the fireplace and a little table and chairs. This is a two bedroom house. Initially it was a three bedroom, but what they did, they knocked through the two small bedrooms and made it into a big master bedroom. As you can see here, plenty of space. This used to be two rooms, plenty of space to put two single beds and a couch. This is the master bedroom that goes out into the garden facing south. So you've got that nice breeze coming off the lake. It has an ensuite bathroom and a closet. Again, you've got all this living space outside under a beautiful wood terraza. Construction is 210 square meters, which comes out at 2,260 square feet. The outside garden facing south, so you do get views of the lake here, guys. The HOA, it works out to be around $100 a month as of the exchange rate today. So as you walk into the clubhouse, you can see heated pool, guys, that you can do laps in. You've got a nice ample-sized barbecue area for entertaining guests. And the clubhouse itself, these are all lounges and everything. It feels a bit like you're in a hotel, to be honest. Let's go and check out and have a look at inside of the clubhouse itself, which is really, really nicely furnished. You've got like a, a flat screen TV, so you can come in here and I guess watch a movie if you want. And on the other side, you've got like a little kitchenette area with a breakfast bar, a couple of tables and chairs. Plenty of space to come and do your entertaining here, guys. Don't mess up your house. Just, just come and do it in the clubhouse and clean it up afterwards. Let's go and check out the rest of the, uh, the common area, shall we? So as we walk down here to your right-hand side, yes, you've got a hot jacuzzi. A good clubhouse would not be a clubhouse without a nice sized gym. It's a pretty well equipped gym. It's got everything you need for a nice workout. Very social clubhouse. They have volleyball going on in the pool. They do yoga a few times a week. If you're wondering what's close by, so instead of going, having to go back into Akihik, say going out for dinner or something. There's the, the brew house, which is an awesome place. If you like your, your craft beer, uh, does really good pub food as well. Also, there's a couple of fantastic bakeries around. 
Yeah, I just wanted to do a shout out to all my subscribers and everyone who's been watching the video for the past year or so. Thank you guys. Thank you for continually coming back, watching the videos, supporting the channel, because it makes me want to do more and more and more. So I'm really grateful for it. Thank you for all the support. And I hope everyone is doing well in this current um, climate, you know, in this current crisis that we're in. It's a very challenging time that we, we're all in at the moment. And um, I, I hope you are all well and all looking after yourselves well. You know, my job, I'm normally out and about showing houses every most days and, and meeting clients. And so it's, it's really weird to be at home full time with the kids, but you know, I, I'm, I'm finding it um, challenging. Uh, I've got two young, young babies. One, uh, one is uh, my little girl is one and my little boy is four. So uh, it's, it's a real challenge, but I'm gonna still continue with the videos, guys. I'm gonna con still continue talking about the real estate and talking about what is the lifestyle like here in Mexico. So you can expect that from me. You can expect still videos every week from me. And I wanted to let you also know, guys, that I've been working on another project. So I'm opening up a podcast and I thought it would be a great opportunity to connect with my subscribers. Yes, connect with you guys. And we could do interviews, we could do um, you know, questions and answers. I thought it'd be a great opportunity to get you on Skype because we're all at home at the moment. So I thought I could open something up. I could, I could provide more information on a on a interview kind of style, podcast style environment. I'm really excited about the whole podcast. I'll leave a link in the description down below. If you wanna check out my podcast, it's called The Rich Varney Show. Um, check it out guys, you can, you, can see it, you can see it here. I'm gonna be uploading videos here on YouTube, but you can also listen to the audio on Google Podcasts, and you can also listen to it on Spotify. It's gonna be about living in Mexico, getting people's take of what it's like to live in Mexico, the challenges that they have faced. I wanna get real conversation. I wanna get you know, people to open up to me and talk about the challenges that they have had, they've experienced here in Mexico. And I think by, I think if, if we, check, we share more of that, it's like we get to understand and we, you know, we get to, um, What's the word? You know, we, we get to learn from other people's mistakes. And I think that's wonderful. You know, I mean, not in a negative way, but in a way that we're sharing. You know, we're always constantly learning, evolving, and sharing with people. Stay tuned. Thank you for listening to this part of the video, a little bit about me talking about what I'm up to. And, and, I, and let me know what you're up to. I really want to know what you're up to, guys, what you've been doing in this time of, some people have put it crisis, this time of reflection. I like to put it in a, in a, personally speaking, I wanna put this time as hibernation. It feels like for me, even though it's very, very hot here in Mexico and I'm in shorts and t-shirt in the back of my humble little abode here in Guadalajara, I, I, I feel like it's, uh, we're hibernating in a way and coming back to what's important. All this craziness is happening in the world at the moment and there is a lot of craziness. We can create a peace, peaceful harmony in our houses, hopefully, and be and have this time as a, as, as a reflecting time as well, a powerful reflecting time. I mean, I, to be honest, guys, I have stopped I have stopped looking too much at the news. I was kind of bombarding my, myself with way too much news. And I, I felt like it was actually affecting my state of mind and making me a little bit more angry and, and depressed and, and anxious and stressed. So I was like, no more news for a while. I'm gonna take a few days off from the news and I've taken a few days off from it. And I feel a lot better about this whole thing and I'm, I'm much happier in myself, for sure, for sure, for not looking at too much news. And, and one thing that's really, really important to me is exercise. Exercise and meditation, things I've been doing, it's been part of my daily practice every single day for years, pretty much, guys. You know, I, that's my religion. If I have a religion, it's exercise and meditation. <laughs> 
Thank you so much for watching the video. Please remember to subscribe if you haven't already and hit that notification button so you get notified of all the videos I do upload on a weekly basis here on YouTube. Thank you so much for watching guys and please take care of yourselves in this current climate and I'll see you in the next video guys. Hasta luego amigos.